2020 lockdown. I can't believe it's been over two years since that happened. I don't know about you, but I stopped playing drums during that whole thing. And now because of that, my chops are in horrible shape. My endurance is not that great. My hands are slower than they used to be. I don't really ever have to play that fast for any of the gigs that I do, but I would like to be able to do that. So if you're kind of in the same boat as I am, if you have lost your chops because of lockdown, or maybe you played drums years ago and had to drop it for whatever reason, family, uh, you moved somewhere where you couldn't play, whatever the reason is, let's kind of build up our chops together. What I think we need to do is get into a habit, and that's really hard. So if you want to go on this journey with me, let's, uh, let's continue, let's talk about it, and let's try to figure out what we can do. So the first part of this, let's have drumsticks nearby, wherever. Let's say you spend a lot of time on the couch when you're not at work. Put some sticks on the couch, so when you're watching, you can just kind of, you know, air drum. And even that is gonna help. If you just kind of do some air drumming, like I have a stick here, you just kind of do some air drumming, you're gonna feel that here, you know? Just just that kind of stuff. Um, you can tap your feet like that too, you're gonna feel it. Let's start off kind of slow, especially if you haven't played in a really long time. Doing things like that, you're gonna get sore. So don't push it too much. Pay attention to your body. If you're feeling pain, you know, settle down, stop for a bit maybe. If you're feeling like burning, you know, like muscles working, that's okay. Still don't overdo it. But first step, yeah, let's have some sticks nearby. Pick them up whenever you can. Second step, listen to music. Listen to music that you like. Listen to music that you have played along to and or want to play along to. Even, you don't even have to like drum along on a drum set or anything. I think just listening and doing some conscious listening. It's fine to do household work and stuff while you're listening to music, but spend more of your attention to your ears and what's going through and listening to the drums and how they fit with the songs. But things like that really, I think, help you focus, help you understand the musicality of the drums. I guess it kind of depends on what our goal is. If your goal is to kind of go back out and play with people, then that's a very important thing. If your goal is just to kind of get faster, I think it still helps to listen to music. It's something that's fun and uh, you can practice along too. Okay, and the next step, if you can, is play on a drum set. Now, I know, depending on where you are, you might not have access to a drum set anymore. You might have to put towels on your set or you know, silent pads that make it feel different. Maybe you don't have anything, you don't have room. You might just have to play on a practice pad, one single practice pad, you might get a practice pad set. It is important at some point to actually play on something. Now, what do you play? So you can either play along to songs, try to play the beats. You know, for me, that's a lot of fun. That's what I kind of want to start doing on a daily basis. And or you can start playing exercises. Now in the next video, we'll talk about an exercise. But for now, those are kind of your options. So, you know, check out other videos, see what other kind of warm-ups they have out there. But always keep in mind, listen to your body. If things are in pain, settle down, check it out. Maybe take a break for a few days or so. I feel like there's a difference between like burning, muscles working, and sharp pain, right? There's a difference with that. So yeah, so just be aware, be careful. Don't overdo it. Don't start getting carpal tunnel or something like that. Um, you might be really eager because maybe you haven't picked up sticks in a long time and you remember it's really fun, so you play three or four hours and then the next day you're in all sorts of pain. So <laughs> just be careful with that, all right? Yeah, and let's try to get back into drumming together. I'm sure I will fall off the bandwagon at some point. You might also, um, but let's just kind of try to encourage each other. Keep on going and just remember the end goal, whatever that is for you. For me, I wanna be able to play as fast or faster than I could back in the day. I wanna be able to play clean. And if for some reason at, at a gig, I need to do some like crazy 30 second note like runs, I can, which will probably never happen, but I just wanna have that ability at my fingertips if I need it. So that's it for now. Let me know how it goes and I will hopefully hear from you and you will hopefully hear from me next week.